Brits. There's quite a few Brits up there. Are they educated Brits? Yeah. The tension a Brit and then his number one guy is a Brit and um, Is he still there? Tension. Tension's Just there, but he's he's got so many you know, three or four guys up there who are in line. They're online. Yeah. Head monks and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, Senses. Nice people. Very down to earth. Um, very pragmatic. They're not into. Um, I don't know what they're into. Yeah. It's been a, it's been a year since I've been up there. Yeah. Yeah. They. So, like so you're going on. They escape the Japanese model. Good luck for them. I hear Don and Maria are going to be showing up today. Really? Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brad's going up there for a week. Brad is going up to the Yeah. Center? Yeah. I'd like to go up there for a month. Yeah. That'd do it. No, 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 no. You got it backwards. But I, I, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, no, no. You got it backwards. They'll have to adjust to you. <laughs> well, I just don't say anything. I'm not social and, uh, you know, um, and when I am, I try and be funny, and that never goes off well. Uh, but I'd like to go up there for a month. I'm thinking about a month. Things don't change pretty quick. That would be nice. Then I just have to stop this. And yeah, definitely. That's the way to live. Looks like an interesting uh, book that you brought there. Yeah, blame them on Nancy. Yeah. yeah. Darn, darn Nancy. Yeah, they're from... Julie, oh, yeah. and I was asked to return them to Julie. Uh, he's the only one who's really. Did you read it? Well, should one of us ask uh, what's happening with Steve Dominguez? No. I mean, right? I mean, it's not. It's unusual to find you here on a Saturday. What do you got going for yourself? Come on. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's mind-blowing. It's, it's so, it's like it adds a dimension, plus you added another dimension. <laughs> Did you guys notice that? <laughs> he's going to, he's going to find the time. Is that what he said? 
to, to study? Yeah, he's going to find. The, I wondered where he'll look. Yeah. Where do you look for something like that? Yeah, because you and I may want to find some time as well. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> yeah. Well, you ask him and I'll listen. Where, where do you look? Is there like well, a store? There, 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 there's definitely a problem with time. That's one of my great, one of my great interests in the nature of time. It doesn't appear that there is any time whatsoever in the present. You know, so you can't look, you can't look in the present. Because the only way to discuss time is in terms of, in terms of, of, of the elements of past, present, and future, unless, unless I, unless I, unless there's some other language, some other way of talking. And the past do, you, do you believe in that sort of stuff? <laughs> it's just a way of talking. Well, I was struck by what he said, um, that there isn't any time in the present. Well, there can't be. Well, because in order to talk, well, well, pure, well he's thoughtful. Way. You see, he's a thoughtful guy. <laughs> yep. And he's making fun of us because he's saying there's no time in the present. So therefore, you can't look for it in the present. Say that. Right, so therefore he's giving us a conundrum, right? I did. I hope, mm. hopefully, hopefully. I don't know, let me check. Did I? Did you get a conundrum? Like, it, it looks like he's pushing, since there's no time in the present, if you do find time, you're not going to be able to use it in the present. Oh. Because there's no time in the present, he's arguing. So our whole effort is futile. Hmm. Well, you, you, may, you may be able, if you find time, you may be able to use it in the, in the present, but you're not going to be able to use it in conjunction with any time in the present. Hmm. I'm, just, I'm just trying to confuse the issues. And I, you know, I, I'm, if I'm making, if that, if, if this indication that I'm making him cry, you know, then, then, I, then, I, then I feel that I succeeded. Uh, what do you think of that now? Come on. Come on. Hmm. Eldar, what do you think? Let's go, over to, let's go over one more time. If there's time in the present, how are we going to talk about it? Will we not? Would you agree? Uh, the by the way, if there's time in the present, is it likely it would take some time? You, you know, the logic of that is... Uh, would there... If would there have to be some time in the present? Oh, oh. But there's no time in the present. Not to analyze it the way I'm about to, but I'm, 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 listen, I'm, I'm interested in hearing more of what you have to say. Could you do the dialogue? I didn't mean to throw, a, you know, a wrench into the, the, the operations of your, your dialect procedure. And I don't think I did. There's a Ben L money too. <laughs> this is Kelly. Kelly. Pierre, Hi. Eldar, Hello. Kevin. Kelly. No. Hi. Hi. How's your world? I'm sorry? How's your world? My world? Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's your first name? Kelly. Kelly? Yes. Uh, uh, do, do all people that have the name Kelly, are they all always Irish? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. I'll just go ahead and uh, I restarted my printer. What do you need? Coffee? Thank you, sir. I, I gave you some. I don't think so. It's sitting on that little tray. I didn't Is even see it. Yeah, oh, okay, 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 okay. All the time there is a cup right there.
do you, 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 who are you? You do? Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Me too, but I can't. I can't turn them out. You are. I'm talking to Pierre. It's kind of a cross talk. I mean, I'm well. I hope you do. But I figured he was handling that conversation beautifully. I didn't mean to jump in. You know? So I was talking to Kelly. Yeah, did you notice? I didn't even have to tell her what I was talking about. She, she instantly intuited. It. You know, I heard it as I walked in. <laughs> what did you bring this morning? Actually, nothing. Well, well, we were hoping you'd bring a question. Why the electric in my house go haywire today? And what am I going to have to deal with? Uh oh. Oh no, the electrician in his own house. Oh my God. I was like, I thought I should call it an electrician, but then I laughed because, of course, I'm not calling so I don't know how to do it. It sounds familiar. But I started opening stuff up and figuring the problem out. So that's. I was considering, what am I going to have to do? And. Oh, please don't be anything bad. <laughs> Did you sacrifice anything to the gods? Just, you know. Well, the house has worked all this time, and the, the wires are copper. It should be. Probably everything's fine, but uh, I don't know. When I open it up, I'm going to find out what the issue is and go from there. It sounds to you like uh, Jeff has brought in, he remembered the question you asked him last night. What do you say? He brought it back in. Because you look up here. The issue of yeah. cause. It's coming out of something. Yeah. Oh, well, the only thing I added to the conversation was there were some conditions. Conditions? I didn't have a. I got asked, could I find a cause, and I used the seed and plant and said, I can find conditions, but not the, I can't see the cause. <coughs> so we, do we need something more than conditions? I, well, I would infer yes, but uh, I don't know. <coughs> see, his, his whole profession... Right. Yeah, I have no idea recognizes the is. mystery of a cause. <laughs> He's already admitted, right, just a moment ago. Well, what's the problem you're facing? Well, my tester, the power is not working on one wall, and it says, my tester said the hot and ground is reversed, which makes no sense. So uh, I'm thinking maybe a plug went bad or something along this series of things. See, he's looking for a cause. Which I will never see. And which you'll never see. Uh, I will never see the cause. Right? Well, it's not mm. even visible. Right? He'll never see the cause. So you're just dealing with... Um, so this gets to the issue of the apparent <laughs> symptoms. Right. I will look for the symptoms. And if I get a... Uh, if I diagnose what the cause is somewhere, hopefully I'm right, the effect will change. So the electric works. So is it that you infer, like, so you look at effects, or you said symptoms? Well, I turned the and circuit. And infer the cause? So I turned the circuit off to figure out which one it is. Okay, I find the circuit, and then I realize, and it was labeled garage, which I thought was strange. I said it means one room and the garage are connected, but old standards were different than these days, so that's fine. And my, lo and behold, my garage is connected to it, but everything's working properly there. So I'm like, huh, well, at least I know where to look. And I know where the series of plugs that are not working right are. And I will say, well, is the uh, problem farther down the line than the garage or up upstream from the garage? And I will look for uh, the issue, whatever it may be. I'm, I'm assuming it's a, yeah. hopefully a bad plug or a bad connection or something. Or a so, <coughs> is it possible there are times when you say, oh, now I understand the cause, and uh, 
subsequently go ahead and it works, only to discover later that wasn't the cause at all? Sometimes that can happen. So then even when we have evidence for the existence of a cause and it works, you may discover later that that wasn't the cause at all. True. Again, it's elusive. the bar, go up and down the breaker, uh, clean stuff up, trip it a couple times. I'm like, well, what what would be the issue? And they're like, oh, you, yeah, maybe any one of those things. You really aren't going to know. That's right. But you do them all, and hopefully you got one of them. And hopefully. Hopefully one of those was the issue. And hopefully that will and be that the... Yeah, probably yeah. solve it. But you won't really know until you turn it back on and wait a couple months and see what happens. That's right. So, yeah, yeah. So... This cause business is a very, very strange thing. Very elusive. Yeah. Yeah. Say, so, is it true that uh, some people explore personal problems and think they've discovered a cause and then go back to the same, same event? and realize that they didn't really understand it, and therefore there may be a persistence of a problem continues. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the same problem is in electricity as there is in midwifery. Mm -hmm. yep. Right? Looking for a cause. Might be tougher in midwifery. Yeah, yeah. You know, Gina has the right answer. <laughs> well, what's that? She says, you guys don't understand what a cause is. If you did understand it, you'd be able to find what it is and discover it and, and therefore no longer be subject to the ignorance of a cause and go through all the problems of the confusion that follows when you get the wrong cause in your thinking. So she's gaining great insight in the very nature of a cause. Uh, you're shaking your head. That's true, but are you working oh, on this yeah. idea of a cause? I am. I have been, but not. I, I'm not versed on it. Hmm. I can give you some quotes, mm. read them to you, but I am not versed on it yet. I'm working on it. Mm. I'm sorry, I missed it due to a side conversation. What is? What are you working on, Jim? Uh, what a cause is. The nature of a cause. The nature of a cause. Where are you working at it? In what area? Well, that's a good question. Um, Hume? 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 Oh. Is that fair? Wow. I don't know. It's your position. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, well, he deals with it a lot, obviously. He talks about it, but he talks about the fact that you don't uh, basically you got you don't ask certain questions to get to cause so I don't know if he deals with what it nature of a cause is I know I've underlined certain things but I'd have to go back and check to see what he did say so I'm sorry that I'm not uh, versed on it but I can bring it out I mean I can read it to you guys if you want I don't know if I'd want to. I think last night you guys looked at what cause was. Well, we didn't get very far. Well, that's because you stopped the evening. Because what? <laughs> you wanted to go home. <laughs> that's not our fault. <laughs> no, it's Jeff. Jeff is the one who determined optimal and ideal time. Thank, right. thank you. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> there yeah. it is. There it is. <laughs> He's the cause. He's the He's cause. cause. <laughs> well, can you throw us an anchovy, though? What have you looked at so far with regard to cause? Like, do you have a, 
even a, a tiny puzzle into it, like where you started. Any starting points? Yeah. Uh, well, ju what I recall are all the statements that he makes about why you don't want to pursue cause. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't help us about the nature of cause. Well, I'm interested at least in the reasons why, uh, if he's listing those, that sounds interesting enough. Why Why would he not want to pursue cause according to him? Because you can't really find out, he can't understand it, so you don't pursue it and you don't ask those questions. Yeah, I mean it's like... And if, you, and if anybody does, then uh, you, you treat them as, um, or you ignore them, or you treat them as polite gentlemen and say goodbye. Don't want to seek causes. Or if you find them in books and books attempt to, you burn them. Well then for me, just listening to this. So you wouldn't be doing what we did last night. Right. Or you wouldn't be looking for the reason for your personal uh, pathologos. It looks like she's reading a book, and the book is arguing, forget the idea of cause, it's a fiction. Yeah. But when we talk to Jeff, he would say, uh-oh, my whole art depends upon searching for causes. Yeah, it's, it's As you yeah, most. Yeah. Right, and being puzzled about them. No, you can't do that. And David would say, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time and impractical and not uh, real. He would take it out of the realm of reality. And hey, right, Jeff would laugh at him. Yes, yes, I think most people would, but I still <coughs> believe it. No, no, most people agree with him. Well, he would say, it's no, it's no doubt that you can find recurring events that look very much similar to one another. And really, when you're talking about causes, all you really have is the conviction that you conclude after seeing the same thing occurring in a variety of ways, that there must be something that precedes it, and that's all you mean by a cause. Finding, yeah, he's saying, hey, look here, the idea, of course, you can reject because what all it really means is that you find you're positing something that exists that can account for the regularity of nature, but there's no basis for concluding you found that. All you have is the evidence of a similarity between events. Right. Uh-oh, she's pulling her... It is universally allowed that nothing exists without a cause of its existence. Uh, and that chance, w when strictly examined, is a mere negative word and means not any real power which has anywhere a m being in nature. What did it say about chance again? So I, I see that. Uh, Want to repeat that? Yeah, sure. It is universally allowed that nothing exists without a cause of its existence. And that chance, when strictly examined, is a mere negative word and means not any real power which has anywhere a being in nature. Well, I take it that he's saying that there isn't any real power 
any, in the car. Not any real power, which has being in nature. Is that what it is? is that what yep. What, Anywhere what? a being in nature. Yeah. What kind of convoluted? But is it? But it is pretended that some causes are necessary fabricated or pretended, some not necessary. Here then is the advantage of definition. Let anyone define a cause without comprehending as a part of the definition a necessary connection with its effect. So there's no reason to comprehend the cause and let them show distinctly the origin of the idea expressed by the definition. And I shall readily give up the whole controversy. Oh, okay, so he, he would say he quit. But if the foregoing explic okay, I'm not understanding this, but I'm reading, but reading I it, it. I think it's the but. That's yeah. Read that, read that last part. Where he's yeah. going to start. Yeah. But it is pretended that some causes are necessary, some no, not no, necessary. No. Is that what you mean? No, the, ne the next part, the one you almost read. Oh, but if the foregoing explanation, explication of the matter be received, but if the foregoing explication of the matter be received, this must be absolutely impracticable. So you don't want to look for had not object had not objects a regular conjunction with each other, we should never have entertained any notion of cause and effect. And this regular conjunction produced that in and and this regular conjunction produced that inference of the understanding, which is the only connection that we can have any comprehension of. Uh, he lost me. Shit well, happened. it's like Shit saying happened. the conjunction, the, the, <laughs> like, the way I always remember it is like the gravity thing, right? Because you, you're going to go like this, you're going to go like this, and then, but I do it again, and there's no connection except regularity that is going to say that it's going to go down again. Mm. He's saying that because of that regularity of that action, that I'm going to infer a cause, but if there was no regularity of, of, of that action in conjunction, then I would have never come to the idea of cause. Yeah, that's very well put. Good. Yep. Whoever attempts a definition of cause exclusive of these circumstances will be obligated either to employ unintelligible terms or such as are synonymous to the terms which we endeavor to define. And if the definition above mentioned to be admitted, liberty, that is, when opposed to, well, I don't know if you want me to continue. Well, I find it fascinating. Is that David you? Yeah. Well, Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Do we have dreams? I have a dream too.
we never defined God just like in the clear. <laughs> Not so far. I'm just going to go ahead and take a look. Okay. Or if Pierre has told me, I forgot. Alpha Eel. Assume that's you, right? She's asking you the cause, right? <laughs> like, did whatever Jeff said interest you in such a way that you decided, oh, what the heck? I'll do it. I'll dedicate my Saturday morning to this activity. Oops. Or did you say to yourself, or I just happened to be Jeff like does. around Jeff and I decided, oh, yeah. yeah. Or you just said something like, what Jeff does has made Jeff who he is, therefore I might know what he does. That's another way. I could make this a multiple choice question because I have expertise. I was one of the people. Or it no. could be like, <laughs> or it could be like Jeff nagged me for so long. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> Saturday morning he wore me down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gave in finally. <laughs> I might give that one an all the above. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hey. Believe it or not, you may get an opportunity to answer. Your wheel don't work. But we know you're faster than speed, so you already had an answer for it. But you're shy, not knowing who this person is. Let's see how much fun we're having. Yes, he's reading this paper. Study of and yeah. cause, right? Yeah. Literally. What's the difference? 
Well, this is the English word, etiology, but the Greek word is uh, A I. Yeah, A I with the E. So it comes, but it comes from the, the Greek, it comes from the A I, that E. So that's, that, that's literally the cause, ology, study of, the study of cause, that's our word, etiology. Ology is the study of. Ology is the study of, yeah. What is it? Oh, it is, yep. What did you, what did you think of that? Yeah. What did you think of that? It does, because it's often used to mean study of. Yeah, it does go back to logos. I mean, because you have to have logos for study, right? Well, you also mean why it's being English to study anything else. I don't know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say study of, but it's logos. No, ology mm -hmm. is study of. This, this is your like biology, like bio, like biology. Yeah, I know all the examples yeah. that you could put it in, but I don't, I'm saying I wouldn't, I don't think that's a, this, this is I really wish people did take biology as things that needed both logos and life, but they don't. Yeah, I and mean, I think that's your point, right? More like you the need reasoning need of the logos. Can we, in this dream, you have, it kind of reminds me of the state that's in the dream. You're thinking this in the dream. I like that, Julie. That came about when I talked with this guy. No, that's logo. not what I mean. Oh, okay. No, it's all of these. I like that, Julie, by the way, the logo Well, it, especially this it's part. I'm okay. not sure about this. Just got the gears going. That's why I like yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. It sounds like this is in the dream, but I'm not sure about this. <coughs> that's the end, you said. of reminds me this is of the state of mind that came about this is still in the dream? No. That part wasn't? Kind of reminds me of the first part of what the Noetic society used to be like. A bunch of tough motherfuckers. Were we? I don't remember. We're still tough motherfuckers. Or maybe it was just me. Not like uh, <laughs> uh, no, no. Mary Murphy, Miguel Doyle, Larry Howard, Chris Olson. Yeah, Larry Howard. Fulbright used to say it was like, here we come with a group of guys carrying machine guns and, you know, yeah. intellectual machine guns yeah. and violent cases yeah. or whatever. Is that her impression here? Or? Maybe it was last night. That was her impression at the early days. The early days when we were tough. And, and, uh, when we were tough. Now you're only tough on that. You're doing all the talking. You're doing all the talking. Talking about tough. Mm -hmm. Say, what do you make of the dream? This long one? Yeah. Well, it, it <coughs> kind of c goes in and out. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> yeah, what? The dream, <coughs> the dream stops here at this word extension, and then there's just one other place where I actually go back into the dream. Uh, the rest is more reflection. After Good that. idea. By the way. Uh huh. From the fourth paragraph on, are you in a dream or, re or reflecting on it? Are those events in the dream or are those your reflections on the dream? <coughs> hmm. I think I 
is in the dream. Pardon me? I think that's still in the dream. Pardon me, I think it's in the dream? Yeah. Uh, what does the word like mean to you? In the fourth no. paragraph? There's it's somewhere. almost like. Oh, it's almost like being in a state of mind where. Is yeah. that is that in the dream or is that yeah. your reflection on the dream? I think I'm in the dream then. Hmm. Or maybe that's reflection. Hmm. I think that's reflection. Oh, and then if five is a reflection, uh, is six a reflection? And is seven a reflection? Notice the word like appears in three paragraphs. Seems One, like two, three. So six is the dream. And then there's a recollection in eight. <coughs> I say now back to the dream? It kind of reminds me of the state of mind that came about when I talked with this guy last night. That sounds like yeah. a reflection. That's after the, that's after the dream. Yeah. Okay, that's out. Mm -hmm. All right, is seven out? Or it could be a general statement oh. of what the feeling is like in the dream. Which is it? And I can ask that same question See where it says back in the for dream five there. and six. See, back in the dream, that's back in the dream. Yeah. That little bit there. Simon does pick up the language of the dream. Seven is definitely a reflection. Yeah. It sounds, like, it sounds very much So, in paragraph nine, you're back in the dream. Yeah. Right? But just for a little bit. Only for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 I talked to the people. Right. Mm -hmm. Or kind of like oh, I was visiting this house and I don't know what I was doing there except talking to people. That's um, yeah. Okay. So. so let me ask you once more. Okay. okay? Number one, mm -hmm. is the first paragraph in the dream? Yes or no? Yeah. Thank you. As you look at the second, is that in the dream? Yeah. Thank you. Third. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now from four all the way to nine, or four to eight, is that outside? There, they are reflections on the dream. No, one, two, three, four, uh, five is in the dream still. Wait a minute, the five is, it's, uh, is it? It's almost like being in a state of mind. Yeah, That's it's, uh, and yet it's mind. almost like being in a state of mind. <laughs> Looks like you're reflecting on the dream. No, I'm actually in the dream reflecting. You're, uh, you're reflecting in the dream. Uh -huh, I'm in the house, in the dream. And so in the dream, you're asking, hey, is that like when I was blah, 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 blah? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, is six doing the same thing? A reflection on the dream? Hey, it's like a state of mind having in the dream. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right. And is seven commenting on six? 
Yeah, seven is out of the dream now. When I say it reminds me of. Right? Yeah. Eight is a recollection, and nine, you're back in the dream for a couple of sentences. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What's the issue in the dream, Julie? Oh, um. Stay in one, two, three, four. Pardon me, one, two, three. Okay. Only. The issue uh, with one, two, three, um, that um, There's some sense of similarity between us in this old house. There's a sense of kind of identity amongst us all. That's true. But I don't know these people, and I, I really don't know what they're about. And I have that sense of impending doom. Therefore, is that the answer to the question? What's the issue? Yeah, is that the issue? That you're with this group of people, you don't know them, and you have a, a certain kind of impending doom about the people you're about and with. Yeah. I know the house was really, really dark. Like an old, something from a movie, like an old haunted mm -hmm. house or... Mm -hmm. Really dark, it's really old. Yeah. And, and it looks like the people that are present mm -hmm. finish it. Um. And what is your view of the people about you? You know, I really don't see the people there. I don't see their faces. I know there are people there. Um. Truly, mm -hmm. read the second paragraph. The gangsters are in the right minds. They have guns and they shoot. Could there be a drive-by? Do you have a view of the people that are there? It looks like it. Looks like it. I mean, not really. I, I don't see them in a way that would lead me to think of them as this. It's more like just in my mind I'm thinking we're all about the same age and but I don't really see them. That's quite true. It's not a claim that you're seeing them, is it? No. I'm just thinking this. Yeah. Are they gangsters? Uh, are they in their right minds? Is that right? Yeah. So you're reflecting on the people that are there. Yeah. And that leads you t in a certain state uh, that, good heavens, you might be in a situation where there's an impending doom. It's a kind of sense of impending doom. Is that right? Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> you know the problem I have with the dream? Mm -hmm. is the fourth paragraph. How does that fit? Yeah, really. Why? Come on, talk about it. Well, again, there's um, just this kind of that we're all strong and healthy and we're going strong. Yeah, that seems really positive there. really strange even talking about it. I just, you know, all I can bring back to mind 
that I was seeing was for the house, the old wood, dark wood, even empty. It was like an empty house. Yeah. But there were people kind of living there or staying there or something, kind yeah. of scattered throughout. And it was kind of just my understanding that this is mm -hmm. yeah. what was holding us together. Yeah, I agree with you. By the way, mm -hmm. uh, Spore in the Dream, is that a reflection in the dream? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, is it in the dream? Ow. Um, now, if you were to ask me why I'm so puzzled about it, I'll answer, but not unless you're asking. Why are you puzzled about it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you go from a sense of impending doom to all of a sudden, but there's an un underlining, unfolding intelligibility to it all. Yeah. Is that in the dream? I don't mind. It's your dream. I have no objection to its I, presence. Again, it's like I'm. It's, it's my thinking. Of course it is. Um, is it in the dream? That's because it's your dream. Look here. Do you have that reflection in the dream after you realize you, that these people around you are creating a certain atmosphere that's causing you to have a sense of an impending doom? Next. Hey! And what happens? And four. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. But there's an underlining intelligibility to it all. Yeah. So I have to ask you. I think. Is that in the dream? I think that was in the dream, in my mind, in the dream. Why, why do you keep adding in your mind? Where else would a dream be? Not in your foot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like, with the, the question are they gangsters? Are they in their right minds? Um. Look, a, a they weren't carrying guns or anything. A lot depends upon whether or not four is mm. in the dream or not. Of course it's your reflection. Is it what you're seeing and reflecting on in the dream? Yeah. This is my take on it in the dream. And that's different than the preceding paragraph. But you had a sense of an impending doom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So, if it's in the dream, I can ask you, what, it was, what was it like for you to realize paragraph four in the dream? It was, um... See, if it's only a re if it's a re if it's a reflection, then it may not be a state of mind. It could, however, be a state of mind, even though it is a reflection. Or it could be an experience in the dream, and this paragraph describes it. One, two, or three. It, it gave me a sense of strength. I'm glad to hear that. Did that answer the question? What was it like having that thought in the dream? <coughs> Your answer is it gave me strength. Mm -hmm. no. In the dream it gave you strength. Mm -hmm. I felt strong. I felt the situation's good. There's something good. Okay. About. Therefore, what does this reflection to do, do to one, two, and three? What did it do to the impending doom? I didn't have it anymore. Thank you. Then what did it do, the fourth paragraph? 
it eliminated it yeah. from Doom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, what kind of state of mind now are you in with four? More positive, more calm. And then I go into the no, no, no. weird... No, then, no, then mm -hmm. you make comparisons. Right? So go to now nine, back in the dream. Mm-hmm. So back in the dream seems like there was something we were waiting for. I don't know. I mean, I was visiting myself. I was visiting this house. And I don't know what I was doing there except talking <coughs> to people. See, mm -hmm. now you're back in the dream, not reflecting and being in the state of mind. Yeah. The dream. What do you find interesting in nine? That's the issue. That I was not part of the house. I was coming from the outside. Keep going. What's the issue? Um, <clears throat> I don't know what I was doing there. Okay. But it, it really is intelligible if I can get you into that paragraph. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are you doing in that paragraph, please? I was visiting this house. No, you weren't. That's minor. Come on. What are you doing? Doing. What are you doing? What am I doing? We were waiting for something. You have an expression, talking to people. Except talking to people. Does that theme I don't know play I'm itself out people. in that ninth paragraph? Talking to people? Mm-hmm. Yes or no? Is this the ninth you're talking about, this guy? That? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. What do you notice about the role of talking with people or getting people to talk and to that whole business of people talking and listening? What does that do? Is that present in that ninth paragraph? Uh, what's it do? I don't really see that I'm engaged in a conversation. I'm just... Did you meet someone who likes talking? Come on, talking to after, people? After the meeting. Yes or no? After, not in the dream. In, in that statement, do you meet someone? No. Who enjoy, this is then a reflection? Outside of the dream? Yeah, this is the rest of this is a reflection. Right? Mm -hmm. This whole thing is a reflection on that first line, talking to people. Is that correct? No, it's a reflection of a meeting I was at that night of the dream. And the guy I talked to after the meeting. My dear, the mm -hmm. third line does not agree with you. Read it. I was visiting this house. And I don't know what I was doing there except talking to people. That's right. There was no particular person I was talking to. But the theme, talking with people, mm -hmm. is, an, is a theme, is it not? In the dream? Yes. Right up to that point. We're all talking. Yeah, we're all talking. Thank you. We're talking to each other now and again. And now you have a reflection on talking with people and you pull out this... We're all talking and we're reflecting hey, It's on this kind event. of like my life. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah. Please explain that. There it is. It's kind of like my life. Okay, yeah. Talking with people. Right. Because I, I talked to that guy after the meeting uh, specifically to reflect on some issue, some thoughts I had been having. So I, I thought I'd use him to reflect on. Um, Look here. Mm -hmm. Did you find then someone who enjoyed talking to people? Yeah. Hmm. Did it influence you to such a degree that the following event 
took place, right? Mm-hmm. Right? And yeah. he tells you, hey, right? Uh, but what would, what would be better is if I got them to go, to go do it after I modeled it for them. Yeah. Right? You're modeling, right, after this guy. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And you find he's so interesting that, come on. He said he'd come and talk to my class. Yes. Yes. It's all about talking with people. You found someone, come on, who can talk to people, enjoys talking to people, that yeah. springs something of interest in you, mm -hmm. right? And he likes what he does. Mm -hmm. yeah. He talks to the court. It's kind of like my whole life. Is that what you said in the third line? Yeah. It's kind of like my life. Yeah. Right. Now, you, you and I both know that you're going through something right now. The dream has triggered something for you, hasn't it? Uh-huh. Hey. Hey. What's the issue? Hey, put it aside. What's the issue? It's your part of your whole life that you like talking with people. Right. Hey, what is this saying about talking with people so far? Do you get anything out of it? For yourself? In the last paragraph? Yeah, it's anywhere, productive. Anywhere in the paragraph, anywhere in the dream. Yeah, it's generative in the dream, no, reflecting. You, say, what? Uh, you like talking with people? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. 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 Uh, hey. Yeah. What is it about the way you're talking about people that's that is problematic? Um. In the dream? What's a problem with talking to people? Hey, hey, did you discover the reason why you had a you needed his help? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back to the idea of cause. Okay. By talking to him I was able to get advanced the idea that I was playing with. I got him to agree that it was a good idea and then he added some f extra idea to it. But those ideas are not part of the course, are they? I would make them part of the course. Pardon? In your dream, they are not part of the course, are they? Those ideas? Pardon no. Me. I'm just reading with you. Would mm -hmm. you please stay in the dream? Yeah. Okay. Okay, are you looking at this part here? Yeah. Page yeah. one here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, in Chinese, they have a technical term called bullshit. Uh-huh. Are you familiar with it? Chinese? Um, I don't know. What yeah, yeah, yeah. The ideas that he's putting forward, are they related directly to the class, what is being taught, yes or no? You start off the, with current events. Is that correct? That's my idea in the dream. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, what do you want to call that in terms of psychology? Is that under the category of... Uh, this is where I talk about things that I've heard in the news that I think they're not going to hear about anywhere else. And I talk about it and relate it to psychology. Yeah. 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 I could call it propaganda or something, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah. okay, that's what I do. Yeah. Or what I like to do. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of that? That's the subject of the dream. That's the subject of the dream? Well, that's what it is. That's what it says, right? And he told me that it sounded good. Mm hmm That's not in the dream, Pierre. That's my reflection on the dream. I understand. Okay. Yeah. But this is all about talking. Yeah. Yeah. And reflecting on events. Yeah, I was really happy to come look, upon him. Look here. Uh-huh. There's a problem here. I wonder whether I can persuade you there's a problem okay. here. Okay. Hey, how are you using your mind in that example that you pointed out to in the ninth paragraph? Well... Thank you. Mm -hmm. You got it? Pardon me. You got it? Got a picture of it, what you're doing, what you discovered, the recollection about what you're going to be doing in your class. Current events, you're going to tie them into psychology. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Say, uh, would you look at paragraph four? What if you were to talk about paragraph four to your class? Thank you. Please add. Well, it would be more meaningful, that's for sure. <laughs> Come on. It wouldn't just be the... Um, the um, BS. Yeah, this would be more, certainly more challenging too. For me. to you to know that. Come on, you're going through it right now. Well, it's more ideal to do this. But I think I can't do it. Yeah, because. I can't do it because. Um, so instead you're going to use current events and tie them into psychology. Yeah. They're different, aren't they? Yeah, the current events thing is more... BS. Well, hey, look here. I guess it's BS, no, but it's please, more... Please, uh -huh. stay on paragraph for it. That's in the dream. Mm -hmm. Then what are you? what is the dream saying about you and your ability? What are you saying in paragraph four? That this is better. How are you doing in four? Good. Damn good, right? Yeah. That's the way you'd like to. That's what you'd like to add to your class. Yeah, I do. So, what would if you were to add that into your talks with people? It would be good. Oh, what's the difference between the way you're functioning now and what the dream is pointing to? that fourth paragraph overcame your fear of impending doom, didn't it? Yeah. It changed everything. Right. Right? Yeah. And now you have a fear that you can't add this kind of reflection yeah. in your life. 
Uh, I can't because <sighs> because ooh. shoot because Oh, I don't know why. That's um, right. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. Thank you. It's a puzzle. Is it likely you might want the answer to it? Oh, shoot. Yeah? Oh. Oh. Say, what's it like when you said, I can't? I can't do it. Uh, What's that like? Well, it's very definite. It's like a wall goes up. Yeah, not formidable. It's a totally formidable. I just, it's just an assumed. Well, right? Yeah. Boom. It's just out of the question. Yeah, talk about it. Come on. Wall, well, like what? Come on. Well, the thing is, I'm preparing, I'm, you know, I'm always working towards this goal, no, but not. yet... No, you're not. Not if nine is true. Well, I mean, I'm thinking that I'm trying to make... Oh, you're work. thinking about it. Yeah, thinking about it. Yeah, we're, we are trying to see if you can describe the state of mind of being a up against that wall, are we not? It's up to you whether you want to pursue this or not. Yeah, up against that wall. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I don't have the formal education to, to bring this about, the intelligibility. I mean, it would entail getting into philosophical issues and I don't have that training. I'll be darned. Which is kind of bullshit, because... Yes. That yeah. looks, like, looks, like, looks like a pretty good statement to me. What's that? That four looks like it's complete. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's true. And that's partly language of psychology unfolding. Yeah, I, I just need to sit down and, and work it out. Work work out the plan to bring this about. That means you're going to have to confront that wall, that doesn't it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let me answer one last question. Yeah. Is it true that you would need some special education to talk about paragraph four? No. Thank you. Except I would have to deal with some basic assumptions, philosophical, about causation. <laughs> yeah, I really need to lay out more clearly the issue of causation at the beginning. I kind of brush over them as and call them the five perspectives, but I could really go into them in more so detail. This deal is with you enjoy talking to people, do you not? Yeah. Do you have a choice on what level do you want to talk to people since it looks like you can go two ways? Yeah. The profound way and the everyday. Yeah. It's true. What does that do to you? It's true. This is more sketchy. No. This is sketchy. <laughs> so are you going to try to bring that into your everyday realm of discussion with people? My everyday realm? Yeah, people, yeah. 
Like these guys, they're people. <laughs> I don't think so. Why not? Hey! <laughs> Why not? They don't care about this awesome. stuff. Why not? <laughs> the hell with them. <laughs> the hell with them. I'm for it. They might be gangsters. <laughs> they might be gangsters. They may get shoot you. They might do a job. will awaken an impending doom. <laughs> the right bastards. Everybody says that about Jeff when they talk to him. Talk to him, they get that feeling of an impending doom. <laughs> uh, this would make it You're more getting a little cool. warm, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. What a weird dream. We uh, no, by the way, there. it's not. Wow. Hey, what's your life going to be when you dismantle that wall? Uh, or go around it? Well, I don't quite... Hmm? I don't quite know. Yeah, I thought it, that's why I asked. But... I sure would like to make that clear. Intelligibility. So, is this your dream? Yeah. 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 Now take a look at the second paragraph. Okay. It was like, go ahead, read it. It was like selecting a live fish that we're going to, we you were going to take out of the water and process. Go ahead. And so it wasn't always the thrashing about ones that you choose. Some were like floating in the water, but they had some kind of a boy that was hooked to them that kept them stationary. But the fact that they're in the water, like when you go fishing, you catch a fish, you hang them from the side of your boat to keep them alive so that when you finally take them home to eat or process, they're as fresh as possible. That was the idea. Is that a dream? Yeah. <laughs> So the dreams were like fish. Did we move to a new dream? Yes. Yeah. Oh, this is the little okay. one paragraph. So it's your use of the word like that's the problem. Okay. Take a look at the opening of that statement. Throughout the dream, I was selecting yeah. Yeah. dreams to it, type of. It was. The dreams paragraph. were like in the water. It was like selecting. Throughout the dream, I was selecting dreams to type out. Yeah, look here. That uh -huh. looks like that's describing the preceding paragraph. Oh, it was, it was like selecting a live fish. The dreams were in the water, thrashing about. The dreams were. The dreams are in the water. The dreams were in the water. Right. And some were making a big splash like and a fish. I was in the water too. Right. Go ahead. And I had to pick which dreams to transcribe next. And each cul-de-sac had a week's worth of dreams. Because I have so many dreams now. But it was like, how do you, how do I decide which ones to type up? You have to make a choice. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's somewhat like having to make a choice about what to talk about. It is, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> right. Yeah.
And it's your job to select one. Right. Right. And you have a good idea of how to select a good one in paragraph four. I do? That's a good paragraph. No, no, the other dream. Oh. Oh, the... In That's a pretty big fish, isn't it? That's a big fish, yeah. <laughs> right. But you can't tell yeah. by how... You can't tell the intelligibility of a, fi of a dream in the water. That's, that's okay. It's a, it's, it's a dream. It fits. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's true. So you got to make a selection. You got to choose, huh? You got to tr make a choice. That's it. And that's it. Yeah, I got to choose. That's it. You got to choose. Yeah. You can choose four or nine. I'm going to choose four. Oh, ooh. What do you think, Jeff? Well, I mean, bullshit or intelligible. <laughs> right? Pretty, oh, but big. Wait, Pretty big. Not just bullshit, but a little song and dance, too. <laughs> we can expect more of her, can we not? I would think so. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey, we can, we can expect more of you, can't we? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Say, are you thinking in paragraph four like one of those philosophers? Y yeah. Louder? Yeah. I won't. I promise not to tell anyone. Okay. All right. Yeah, I needed to be reminded of this. Thank you. <laughs> well, don't worry, Julie. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, well, this whole dream is like the fish in the water. <clears throat> like they're parts that are not parts and their reflections. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Right. Yeah. You gotta pick the right one. Right. Yeah. I can't see any of it because it's all underwater. That's right. Yeah. But we have an idea of what fish that paragraph four would be, don't we? We do. Gonna rush, risk it? Yeah. Right. This is the language. Yeah? This is what I'll go for. Like Intelligibility. Ooh. Okay. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a word. I got a word. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gosh. So much crying. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I love the courage that you. you put into your dream explorations, Julie. The courage? Yes, it's a cause. You go for broke. You really do. Well, I don't seem to have much choice. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, oh, can't take credit for it. You have choice. I do. Yeah. You didn't have to bring your dreams. Well. Well, that's true. <laughs> I don't know. I could have sat home and drank. I second drank. what Jeff, Jeff said it was. <laughs> I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> Very um, sincere and beautiful. Yeah. Say, what's it been like uh, for the last uh, month reading Parmenides at the group? Well, huh? I'm trying to get it to understand the intelligibility of it. How are you doing? Compared <laughs> with a year ago. Oh, I'm doing better. Deeper and more really feeling like I could do it. Uh, by the way, is that uh, fourth paragraph doing it? Yeah, it's giving me a good way to go. No. <laughs> is doing it? It's doing it's it. It's doing, You're doing it. it. Yeah. And the dream. Right. It's not, it's not future. You're doing it in the dream. Right. Mm. Doing it in the dream. Right. So I am doing it already. Yeah. So it's not like I could... For me it kind of brings up a little bit of a philosophical question I've always had, which is... Yeah. Can we... Can we... Right. Can we distinguish between a, a choice or a decision on the one hand 
and the action that is the uh, result of that choice. Are those two separate things? Like, do you make a choice and then take action? Or do you, or is it alternatively possible to say okay. that you really haven't made a choice until the action starts? Pretty good question. I don't, I don't, what do you think? <laughs> you can't do that. I can't do that? Yes, she can do that. I well, I, decided, have I have my answer mm. that I've come to, but okay. uh, I, I, I take the second. I, I think it's convenient for us to think that we've made a decision, but until I see my foot moving forward, I uh -huh. haven't really made it. How does it relate to Julie's dream? Okay. So in, in this paragraph where you're, you're taking action, paragraph four. I think that's the one you mentioned. Yeah. There's the underlying unfolding intelligibility. What's the one that you and Pierre were just talking about? Where you that take one. action? Yeah. That's a choice at the same time, isn't it? You made a choice. You took action. No, I'm just reflect. I'm just thinking at that point that there's an intelligibility that's oh, we've that's all been participating in, and that has a strong force that I think keeps everybody alive and well. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm on too much of a tangent. Sometimes I think of Piers. Piers talking about that study that was done of the guys who jump on the plane for a parachute. Uh huh. And um, the psychologists thought that their stress would go up while they're on the plane. Turns out that their stress dropped uh, the moment they got on the ramp. Like they had already made the choice ahead of them. But really, it's at the point where you move. For me, I, I guess the reason this is, I mean, it's just such, it's so hard. This is why we, I think we focus on the dreams so much about speaking and taking action because it's at that point that you know you've got motion. You've really moved the soul. You've, you've bumped up to your next level. Right. Well, one of the questions I always have with the students now that you are talking, I'm remembering that sometimes I think, oh, the students aren't interested in intelligibility. They like the song and dance. But, you know, more and more I see that the students do want intelligibility. They want something real. When do you see that? Inside conversation? Uh, yeah, and in the classroom, in too. The classroom? Yeah. They're, they're not fooled. They want the real thing. So philosophically, I mean, that's, that's my... You told me, for instance, that when you bring up, I like Steve's question because he's yeah. saying, are you, I think where you're going with that, Steve, is did this just happen on the way out the door or are you bringing more intelligibility bit by bit into your classes? Right, right. You, you've told yeah. us that Majority all the eyeballs in the room wake up when you start talking about dreams, right? Right. And I tell them on day one that, you know, that's the purest example of they're experiencing their own mind. So this dream is confirming what you're already doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so does that mean she wasn't giving herself credit for it in the waking world? Huh. Well, you said, I thought I heard in the conversations today that it was by bit, by bit, that you were doing it. And I thought what you were looking at in the dream was the idea of approaching it completely, fully, yeah, fully, wholly yeah. unfolding for that. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. right, Taking yeah. Taking them with you, maybe. Yeah, I'm through the whole. some structure that wasn't directly yeah, yeah, yeah. there. But I, actually supplying that structure, fortuitously, one might even say providentially, yeah. because do you remember last night when Pierre um, did that wonderful setup? 
for reading the Parmenides, and everybody was kind of baffled by how to answer the question. And then we did the exploration in the Parmenides, uh -huh. and then you said, I didn't oh. see what you did there. So oh, I, I said did. I was pissed off. Yeah, and uh -huh. do you remember, though, how you... Yeah. Did, well, what do you see in that? Or if you recall it, I think it'd be... Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, I basically wanted to say, I didn't see that unfolding intelligibility. <laughs> Could you, uh, I'll go over that later. Yeah, yeah, right. but then you said, um, you go, can you remember? But then I it? said, but I did see it. Oh, okay. You know, I had to acknowledge that I saw it took place, and I was amazed at how he had, he done, had done it. it. Yeah. yeah. As a teacher. Yeah. And did you see how he had done it? Oh. Yeah. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> it sounds like it's in the class of... Yeah. Hi, Barbara's chief. Did you know Barbara? Yeah. How long have you been on? A while. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do you think she's uh, uh, suggesting maybe that you should use that model that you saw demonstrated last night in some way in your classes that might deal with paragraph four? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I Is that what you suggested? Say this. No, no, yeah. I, I thought you said that you you really weren't you sure could how that, yeah. how he'd done that. Yeah. But in a way you'd lost awareness for the space. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Because you were in front, I was way in the back. But that oh. <laughs> but that you were and I saw that you were like he acknowledged what you said, but he didn't go back through it. And I, I it looked like you were really deeply grieving the fact. Yeah. Right. Because I thought he'd just put those questions up just randomly. Ah. You know? Experiencing the self, what is is, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> and I thought it was just like, oh, okay, six questions, okay. And then when we got to the end, you go, okay, now it was like a magic trick. Okay, now let's go back to these questions and see how differently you perceive them. And it was like, what? He did it. <laughs> he got us to see it differently. So it's like, I guess you were, there was some unfolding intelligibility there. Mm -hmm. But you didn't like, didn't care for? No, I liked it, but I didn't think I got it or something. Yeah. Or I don't think I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, and myself. Yet, how high of a goal what is that for you? Well, you no, it's can, really you, high. Yeah, you, you can only like get that. that when you go to college. <laughs> I'm going to listen to the tape oh, again. Yeah. Right. It's his philosophy classes <laughs> that got him back. Right. <laughs> what, whose dream is this? Oh, I don't know. Regina. Regina. Yeah. Okay. okay, thanks, Barbara. Thanks. Thank you. Fun? Thank you. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 MC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got change sheets. Yeah. I just was struck by something you said a second ago, uh -huh. which is that you thought the questions were random. That was mine, too. Like, yeah. did you, you think that you thought that in the moment? Yeah. Um, Say, so what do you think of your hearing? Well, my first thought when I thought about it was I took the idea of breathing and I just said reading. So I thought my reading was shallow. That was how I looked at it. So it's letting me know something about um, how I'm approaching things. So, uh, please tell me what that last line means, especially uh, after the word but. But I noticed right now it's not. Let's see. It, what does that mean? 
I thought <coughs> I had been practicing or attentive to having deeper breathing, but I noticed right now it's not. Well, it means that I thought I had, but in the dream I noticed that I wasn't doing that. I wasn't doing deeping breathing, deeper breathing. Then that's a kind of realization, is that right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that was a realization that I noticed right now it's not that case. Yeah. What's that like? <coughs> um, well, on one level it's good that I woke up to it and, and I saw it. On the other hand, I'm sad about it. That because I didn't, <coughs> because Pardon I me. thought I was doing something and hold it, Nancy. Uh, you hold my question and read the last line. I wondered how I missed that, and then I'd ask that question. How what did was I? That moment, like I wondered how I missed it. Well, I'm kind of thinking, oh, I wondered how I missed it, what state, of, what's that like? Well, it's going back over, uh, well, I'm not, what's it like? Um, See, the question is, what I guess add anything to the word wonder? I wondered about it. So I'm asking, can you add some more? Sure, words I to that? I would say I want. Well, if we're we're working on the word cause. I'd say I wonder what the cause was that I missed that. That would be one. I wanted to. I, I was wondering how I didn't see yeah. that. So I'm going to uh, introduce just one word. And, uh, would you do me a favor and describe its effect on Regina? Okay. All set? Hey, Regina. Okay. Oh, what's another way, what other words can you use to describe what you just said. I wondered how I missed that. Is that... Uh, Reflecting? No, no. Thinking? Is that ignoring? Is that? Well, it... Well, it would be... Igno I did ignore something, and I wondered how that was possible, or I thought I had been not ignoring. But now this dream is saying that I did. Have you worked on the problem of ignoring recently? Yes. Oh, how important is it? Mm, very important. Oh. Mm. Well, it's not helping me though. What? <laughs> I'm not sure where it goes, but. No, no, no. Stay with the dream. Okay. Therefore, what is it like in the end of the dream when you are saying, I wondered how I missed that, which is equivalent to I wondered how I ignored it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking for the reason for thinking that I was doing something when I wasn't. It's but not that it. I ignored sure. doing something. That's it's right. all right. It's ignoring how did I miss something that I thought I was doing. That's different. Yeah. I mean, I can ignore things and not that I haven't done or say that I didn't do them. But this is something that I was doing. Yeah, okay, look, this is a question, right? Uh, what? What what would you be doing, or how would you describe 
there you are wondering how you ignore this. Or I don't know if ignored well, okay. I wondered how I ignored whatever it is. How well, important is that question for you? Well, it's very important, but I don't I'm having a hard time there's something in the way I'm thinking about it that leads me to ignore something. That's how I understand this. No. So I'm not... Just stay in the dream. Okay. But you think you're doing it. Right. That's the important part. Right. So I, I'm not ignoring it in, on, on one level. On one level, I'm not ignoring it. But this is saying, I am. And now you're wondering how you ignored it. Yeah. Because formerly you thought you had not ignored it. Right, right. I would say that. Right. Yeah. Hey, does that fit your own explorations? Did Have you become to think you now understand the role of ignoring? If so, what I is thought the, so. What is the dream saying? There's another level to it. Right. Which I have no idea it goes to. Right. So where does it go? Up, hey. Ice skating. I don't know. I hey okay. I don't know what you mean by hey. Oh. I don't know. By the way, did you just say that that leads you to think that there may be a deeper level to the issue of ignoring than you had thought of? And that That's what it's thought, saying. Yeah, and you thought you had understood it, but this is pointing out, finish it. Well, a, a, different, a different level or a deeper level of it. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. I uh, don't know about. Not sh I don't know where it goes. I don't know what it's about. Um, I don't know. Apart from that, is that an interesting... Yeah, yeah, sure, it's interesting. Vital? Sure, because you're thinking you know when, in fact, you don't. Especially about this issue of ignoring. But yeah that you think that you haven't ignored something or I haven't ignored something when in fact I have. But that's puzzling to me. I don't, I mean like that's seeing, that's thinking you see something when you don't or, or I mean it's got implications all the way around so I don't know. <laughs> As, you're missing, yeah. you keep saying it one way and then you repeat it in another way, mm. and that robs you of the distinction that you just made. Well, I thought I hadn't ignored something, but in fact, I did ignore it. I ignored the deeper level of it. Thank you. There's a deeper, deeper level to it. Hold fast, I don't think. change. Yes. Hey, isn't it interesting that you are now wondering about it? That's positive, is it not? Uh, sure. Therefore, is it not fair to say what kind of wonder was it in the dream? What that experience was like when you said, I wondered about how I ignored it or missed it? Well, it's similar to that I noticed it right now, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm shocked about noticing it. I was happy and sad, but at the same time, I was wondering how I did that. So that got me into reflecting more on, or or actually not ignoring what I did, that is that I had been attentive, I, I mean, 
I didn't put it aside is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I wondered how I missed it would mean that I didn't ignore it. I didn't ignore what I did. The words that you used describe it well. You were surprised, right? I was surprised that I realized what was going on. So, but I noticed right now it's not the case, so I re realized that. And it was surprising. Um, you said two things. You said surprised and shocked. Shocked and sad. And also sad. Right, because I thought I had, but in reality I hadn't, but I was, and that surprised me. There was a good part to it that I'm glad I saw it. Right, that's what I want to hear. Oh, okay. So in the dream, yeah. you were glad you discovered it. Yeah. But in your reflections right now, you're saying, oh, I don't know where to go, I don't know how to proceed. But that is not in the dream, is it? You're happy to have discovered. Oh yeah, right now it's not the case. So, although there's a sadness, I was happy to see. Hey, that's good. You know, yeah. it's good that it came out. Yeah. Therefore, it's a very positive dream in mm -hmm. that respect. Yes. Even though it points to something you have to do. Right. That's true. Yeah, because I was noticing, I, well, like I was reflecting and looking at the evidence, like they pointed it out, and I didn't believe them at first, but then I decided, you know, it's like I, I checked for myself to be the case. By the way, is this there for a dream that's asking you to look for a more profound cause? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, then maybe we'll find out about it. Oh, darn. Next tomorrow? The next week? Right? Yeah. Oh, and, and it's not a parent either? It's not a parent. Uh, sure as <laughs> hell, not a parent. <laughs> so I can't rest it only on ignoring? <laughs> <laughs> I was happy for a while. <laughs> I guess it's not sufficient. Oh, well, okay. So, just for the background. Yeah. Regina had a recollection of a, a family drama, and she oh. saw she saw that the word ignored. Everyone in the drama ignored something. Mm. Each person ignored what the others were doing. The whole family agreed to ignore something that was going on. Mm. The role of ignoring played itself out on like nine levels. Uh -huh. Right? So she gets this dream nice. and it's saying, hey, uh, <coughs> go for it. More profound. Keep going. Right? Yep. I agree. That did put a lot of things together and it's saying that's mm. shallow <laughs> compared to what you need to be doing. Yeah, nice. Right. Oh. <laughs> So Not cool. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. So or you used the word Actually, in the dream, you know, you said it is cool. Right. Like, oh wow. Yeah. Okay. And, okay. I thought I was doing awesome, but I got more to do. Well, she said not cool, and I said actually in the dream she looked at it differently, like. This is good. I thought yeah. I was doing awesome, but I realize I'm not, and that's good to know. Yeah. If you think you're doing good and you're not, and you don't know that, it's kind of hard to improve. Yeah. I just now, want to know what it is. <laughs> now, wait a while. But can you tell us why it is that your dream is raising the very issue that we started this discussion on today? Cause? Cause? Well, I, well if it goes there, I would yeah, say uh, I have yes? no idea <laughs> what cause is. <laughs> I, you asked what the nature of cause is, and I don't know what the nature of cause is. Uh, or how much do you have to know in order to know that your answer to what a cause is is right, is mm. true, right. True. Oh, I didn't understand that. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I just thought I'd throw it out. Yeah, you, know, you did. Nice throw it day out. today, and can we throw it out? No. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, what do you mean? Uh, 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 uh. Oh. So it's like. Hey, Jeff. Uh, uh, do you think there was a creation? Do I think there was? Or are we seeing in the general sense? Yeah, yeah. You know, I go back and forth with well, that one. Well, oh, I don't mind. Which one yeah. do you want to take on today? I'll go with yes. Oh, okay. You'll go? Uh, today I'm going to say yes. Okay. <laughs> say, must there be a cause? Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Right, what created it? Right. So here we are in the midst of creation, and now someone comes along and says, why? But even if it was always here, you would still have the same... You still have to ask it, right? <laughs> right, you still have to ask it. And these are the questions that are really uh, are the primary subject of education at ICU. Oh, philosophy school? Any school. I've known a couple of kids who went to for philosophy degrees. They, they didn't learn that. Right, is that what they do at UCI? What is it? I see see I It's hard UCI. to say. Neither one really works. <laughs> As a name for the school. Probably OCC. Really. Religious studies. He's been associated with that place. Well, God said so. Say, so, in how many classes have you ever recalled that explore the idea of cause? I don't remember. Research methods. The closest we came was, yeah, research Science. methods and statistics. Research, research method? method. Uh -huh. Do they reach a cause or a correlation? Well, ideally, the experimental method looks for cause. The others look for correlation. Pardon me. Can you give me an example of one thing they discovered was the cause of something? By um, using the sure. scientific method? Sure. They found out that... Um, the reason why people, back in the 50s, they found out the reason why people were having um, car accidents and going through the front windshield was because they were uh, often drunk. So they did experiments. Pardon and, um, me, pardon me. They're going to discover the cause <laughs> of why they were drunk? No, they were finding the cause. Uh, they discovered that people were, were breaking more slowly as a result of being drunk. And so they established but, 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 limits. Me, why did they do that? They wanted to have fewer people going through the windshield. No, no, no. Why did they t operate with their foot on the pedal in the way they did? Because they had been drinking alcohol. Oh, you mean anyone who drinks alcohol will have that effect? If you drink enough alcohol, it'll have that effect. It'll slow down your break time. Yeah. Did you answer why it does that? You linked it with alcohol. Um, I don't know the mechanics, oh. but it's something about the This is very sad. This is very sad. Fires less rapidly or the reaction, it's a reaction time issue. I mean, when they search for causes, they're satisfied to describe something that took place immediately in everybody's experience. Nope. That is, they drank alcohol, it affected them, and that's of course their pedal to their foot with the pedals to produce the accident. Actually it's more correlational, yeah. That's what? Cor correlational. And Cor higher what percentage. Does that mean? Right. Correlation. Well, it meant that not everybody had the same reaction under oh. the oh. same amount of alcohol. Oh. But there was enough of you, a trend. Are you saying, therefore, they don't search for causes? Ideally, they want to. They try well, to bring it under control. They don't tell me that ideally they want to. I want to know whether they ever do that ideal thing that they claim to be able to do. Well... No. 
they, they, they can't get 100%. So. Pardon me, if, if, you, if you know what cause of something isn't that 100%? It would be 100, yeah. Of course, so it's irrelevant to talk about it in terms of 100% because that's what a cause is. Right. Oh. Yeah, no, they, they so never they get be, there. Uh, in this particular case, you would, in order to account for 100%, you might be looking for one cause that accounts for everyone, or you'd be looking for multiple causes some causes for some drivers and other causes for others. Still Is end up with a probability. Do you remember that story, I forget the author of The Bridge Over Louis Ray? The Bridge Over the River? The Bridge of what? The, the bridge. bridge of Louis L. Ray. It's a oh, great story of a group of people are crossing a bridge and a date way and therefore there were many casualties. And so some priest stopped and said, uh, could there be a cause for this? And if so, it has to make sense for each of these people to have died this way at this very point, and it has to be entirely rational and intelligible. Yeah. This was an Apollonian priest? Yeah. And so he went on a, a, a journey. Mm. So there were 12 people that died in this terrible mm. accident. Mm. And he got answers to each person except one. Mm. Mm. That one person? And that perplexed, really perplexed yeah. him because that meant... He didn't have the cause. Even though it looked like he had 11 cases that fit yes. the cause. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, he hmm. finally discovered it, and he uh, decided to give a talk about it. And of course, he had to go across a bridge that <laughs> it fell apart, and he died. So he never found out what he found. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Well, hey, how about that bridge in Italy two days ago? Same, same bridge. The bridge collapsed. Fifth bridge in five years in Italy that has collapsed. Isn't that great aqueduct in Spain that was built? in the classic period of time, 2,000 years old, and it's still functioning still. as an aqueduct. There you go. There must be something going on here that we're missing. 80% of our bridges right now are considered in a state of hazardous construction. Right. <laughs> and how many of our dams are suspect? Probably 80%. I don't, wow. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the percentage, but... But these guys can build something and... Different building code. <laughs> oh, oh. No, actually, maybe it's Julie's answer. What's the Intelligibility. In those days... Hmm. It was meant for something to last instead of built-in obsolescence. They put in yeah. crummy well, plumbing. Yeah, when I was a kid plumbing. growing up, uh, I enjoy talking to the guy who used to mm. dig, in the, dig holes in the, in, the, in, the, in the... Oh, the uh, jackhammer guys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they always said the same thing. They always said, whatever we do, we have to make sure we leave, leave it in such a way that there'll be some work for our grandchildren. Mm. I remember we talked about this on the bluff, about that stairway go, being built to go down. And we were both looking at it, and I think you raised the question of how long such materials and construction would last. And we both saw that it wasn't going to last that long, and yeah. therefore, there'd be more work in the future. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and that that's our, that's our right. psyche. Yeah. Uh -huh. So has it, has it been destroyed yet? No, deteriorated. Though. Deteriorated? All right. That, that sounds like a good cause for the bridges falling apart. Okay. I yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, I'm, a, I'm apparently driving you here. Sure. I'm apparently driving him. He asked me. Well, he asked you, but Nancy asked me. I don't care who takes him. But I do. No, I'm driving <laughs> him. Well, I'm yeah, but Nancy did ask. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Pierre asked me. Right. I'm, I'm, yeah, not, but I'm not beholden to and him. And he so. says he doesn't <laughs> care. Yeah. yeah, but the question is it's that he did scary. say that, and I remember her saying that. <laughs> Sorry. 
So, oh, right. okay. so you have to give some kind of credit to him and Nancy. Right. That's 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 yeah, but not that that way. Yeah. If he doesn't yeah. care. Well, well of course not. Um, so I'm um, leaving oh. in three weeks. In the door. Do on care. Left. <laughs> what? Just, I do but care. It's not that much. It's not that bad. Give credit. A meditation yoga retreat center there. Uh, Where? In Cambodia. Oh, come uh, Called Vagabond Temple. And I'm going to cross. Speaking with them and setting up. A little Some battery. Sort of where I can God. go and do green work and uh, midwifery and 